Hey everyone, it's Sarah Jane with Chic on the Cheap, and today I have a bunch of Dollar Tree DIYs, decor ideas, and hacks to share with you for Valentine's Day. And a majority of these projects are so easy and so simple, they only take about five minutes to make. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so for the first DIY, you're going to want to grab some of these Dollar Tree coasters. You can find these year round and then paint them whatever color you want. I'm spray painting them white. They take spray paint really well, but you can also hand paint them and they usually only need one coat. And I did pick up six coasters for this project. Next, you'll want to take this free printable with these adorable conversation hearts. I'll have a link to this down in the description box below and cut out each heart. Now this step is optional, but I love using these self laminating sheets. You get three for a dollar and 25 cents and two of the hearts fit onto each sheet. And as you're doing this, you'll want to make sure to smooth out each paper heart as you apply it to the lamination sheet so that there are no air bubbles and the sheet should look something like this. Next, cut out the hearts, but leave a slight rim of the lamination around each one and then apply a heart to the center of each coaster. Again, making sure to smooth things out and get rid of any air bubbles. You can of course skip the lamination sheets and use Mod Podge or a glue stick to apply your hearts to the coasters, but the lamination really protects the paper from having the colors bleed and will help keep the hearts 100% waterproof. And the final step is to coat each coaster in a layer of Mod Podge. I really like using matte Mod Podge. You can find this in smaller bottles at Dollar Tree in the craft section. And this is just going to seal the coasters and give them a nice finish. And here's how the Conversation Heart coasters turned out. They are so cute. And if you make anything from this video, make these. You can create a set for yourself or give a set as a gift. Okay, so speaking of conversation hearts, don't miss out on this bingo kit this year. It's truly a hidden gem. You get so many bingo cards and these sheets are awesome to grab if you like to journal or if you're creating a scrapbook. Really, you can do so much with these, but here's one quick idea. First, you'll want to cut out several of the hearts and then pick up a couple of Dollar Tree's LED candles. Then using a glue stick or Mod Podge, apply the hearts to the candles. You can add as many hearts as you would like and I just tried to make sure I spaced them out evenly and switched up the colors colors. And here's how the candles turned out after they dried, just so incredibly cute, but you can add these little hearts to vases, picture frames, coasters. Really, the DIY ideas with these are endless. Okay, so is it just me or is holiday decor getting really expensive? I was on Pottery Barn's website looking at their Valentine's Day decor and I saw these EXO pillows for $79.50. And I was like, there's gotta be a way we can DIY these to get a similar look. So I went to Dollar Tree and I grabbed two of these white pole noodles. You can use another color if you would like, but white works best. And you'll want to first cut a section off like this. Then using the same pool noodle, I cut another section the exact same length and then set those two pieces aside. Then you'll want to cut two more smaller pieces and give one of the pieces an angled cut like this. Then using some white duct tape, attach the smaller section to one of the longer pool noodle pieces like this. You'll then just repeat the steps with the other smaller piece. You'll do an angled cut and attach it using some duct tape. And then to finish off the X shape, I trimmed down the pool noodle sections to make the form a bit smaller. And here's what I was left with. This next form is a little easier to do. You'll just grab the other pool noodle and trim it down until you can make an O shape that is similar in size to the X shape. And once you figure out the sizing, you'll tape the ends of the pool noodle together to create what looks like a small wreath form. And here's a look at the two forms together, the X and the O. And to finish this project, you'll want to grab some of this chunky yarn and some hot glue. And I definitely recommend using some of these finger protectors from Dollar Tree. I burn myself pretty badly working with yarn, so please learn from my mistakes. And you'll just want to wrap the forms in yarn. I would say there's no really right way to do this. I always work in sections, but this style of yarn is pretty forgiving. And as I am wrapping, I just try to focus on making the layers of the yarn look symmetrical or even on both sides. And here's how the X turned out. And the O is really simple to cover. Again, I worked in sections and tried to make sure everything looked cohesive. 
And here are the XO pillows together. I think they turned out so nice. And the best part, you get a similar or inspired look to the Pottery Barn pillows at a fraction of the price. Okay, so have you guys seen these silicone molds at Dollar Tree? I love these for different projects. And one of my favorite ways to use them is to make floating candles with Dollar Tree's tall glass candles. I love the color selection with these candles. You can use whatever color you would like, but since this is a Valentine's Day DIY, I grabbed some of the pink ones. And there are a few different ways you can melt your candles, but my favorite way is in a stock pot on low heat. I got this one from Walmart for around $13 and I only use it for melting candles. Now, once the candles are fully melted, you can pour the wax into the mold, filling each heart to the top. Next, place your wicks into the center of each heart and let cool. And what's so great about this mold is that each candle comes out so easily and the way each heart looks is so beautiful. They have a really nice shape. And before you light them, you'll want to trim down their wicks. And as promised, these do float in water. And I think that is so cool. All right, so for this next hack, grab a box of crayons. I always go for the pack of 48 at Dollar Tree and soak them in some water. After a few hours, you'll easily be able to remove their paper covers. They should just slide right off. This is such an awesome trick for anyone who knows how much of a struggle it is to cleanly remove the paper off of a crayon. And then you'll just want to break the crayons into little pieces and place them inside the silicone mold. And I did try to put similar colors together. Next, place the mold with the crayons in the oven for about five minutes at 275 degrees or until the crayons are fully melted. And after the crayons are completely cooled, you can take them out of the mold. And again, they come out so easily. I think this is the most fun part, just seeing how they look. And here's how my heart crayons turned out. They are absolutely beautiful. I love the different shades and how the colors mix together. They're almost like tie-dye crayons. And just in case you were wondering, yes, these do still work. And I think this would be a really fun project to do with your kids. So chances are you've seen this other mold at Dollar Tree. It has smaller heart shapes. And what I did with this mold was melt down another pink candle to make little wax hearts. And I also melted a white candle and used the wax from that to fill up this coffee mug. And here's the trick with this. While the wax is still slightly soft, add the little wax hearts to the top. You'll probably have to push them in a little bit. The look I was going for was milk with pink heart ice cubes, and it makes the sweetest looking candle. Next is an easy way to give a drink caddy a Valentine's Day makeover. I picked up this pack of Coca-Colas from Big Lots, but any drink caddy will work with this. And you just want to paint it whatever color you would like. I've been loving pink Valentine's Day decor. So I'm going with a pink spray paint and I just gave it one coat. And like I always say, you can hand paint this as well. I just use spray paint because it's quicker. Once the caddy was dry, I put the Coca-Colas back in and then I grabbed a sheet of these Dollar Tree window clings. They have a lot of different ones to choose from, but this one was my favorite. And what's so cool about these is they will stick to just about anything without any glue. So I just placed the cling on the caddy with no adhesive or anything and it stayed right in place. I then just tied some twine around the top of each bottle in a simple bow. And then I grabbed a set of these heart stickers and placed one on the middle of each bow to complete the Valentine's Day makeover. The person I'm giving this to loves Coca-Cola, so you can totally choose whatever drink of choice the person you're giving this to loves. Another fun way to use the clings is on Dollar Tree coffee mugs. A lot of people use coffee mugs as decor and you can just place the cling on the coffee mug and again, it stays right in place. You can also drink out of the mug too and take the cling off when you need to wash it or when the holiday season is over. Now, if you see these heart picks at Dollar Tree, you can create a really cute party favor with these and you'll want to grab some more of those heart stickers and then place two on the end of each pick back to back, making sure the stickers are lined up evenly like this. And then you created these super adorable looking arrows. And to finish them off, I grabbed this pack of Big Red from Dollar Tree and hot glued a single pack to the middle of each arrow. And oh my goodness, Big Red smells so good. As I was doing this project, I could smell the gum through the packaging. It's been a long time since I've had this gum and I forgot just how good it smells. And I just made a few to show you as an example, but you can make as many of these as you would like, but they look so cute and would be perfect for a Valentine's Day party or for your kids to give out at school. 
This next idea is something I've been wanting to do for a while, and I first grabbed a Dollar Tree planter and spray painted it pink. Dollar Tree planters, of course, come in a bunch of different colors, so if you find a color you like, you don't even have to paint it. And then you'll want to put some foam on the inside. I had this foam pumpkin left over from the fall, so I just painted half of it green and placed it inside the planter like this. And after I finished the project, I realized there was no real point in painting it because you won't even be able to see it. Next, you want to make some cupcakes or you can even buy them from your local grocery store depending on how busy you are. And then you can use toothpicks or I'm using bamboo skewers that I broke in half to arrange the cupcakes around the foam. The bamboo skewers work well just on their own, but if you're using toothpicks, I would recommend using two for each cupcake just to make sure they are nice and secure. I was able to fit six cupcakes on top of the planter and then you can take some tissue paper or I had a roll of green crepe party streamers and I just bunched up pieces of that and filled in the gaps were basically just trying to make the cupcakes look like flowers. And I did want to say that the ribbon around the planter is from Dollar Tree this year. They have some really pretty ribbon and here's how the cupcake bouquet turned out. I think this is so pretty and would make the perfect gift for any loved one in your life. For this next hack, grab some socks. Dollar Tree sells these that are really cute and comfortable, but honestly, you can use whatever kind of socks you want. And the first step is to roll each pair of the socks up like this, kind of like a cinnamon bun. Then take a rubber band and place it around the middle of the sock so it's nice and tight and flip the outer edges of the sock over the rubber band to create a shape that looks like a rose. Once you're satisfied with the shape you've created, you'll want to grab some wooden dowels and wrap them in floral tape. Then place each rolled sock onto a wooden dowel. It should slide right in and it should look something like this. Now this next step is optional, but I'm going to add some leaves. I hot glued a single leaf to each wooden dowel. It just kind of completes the floral look. And then I arranged the sock roses in a vase for a creative but quick gift idea for anyone in your life who loves cozy socks. So as I'm sure you're very aware, Valentine's Day is definitely teddy bear season. Dollar Tree does have these 17 inch bears in the plus section for $5 a piece, but by far the best selection I have seen this year is at Walmart. They have so many to choose from in a bunch of different sizes and colors and styles, but my favorites have to be these with the heartbeat. They look really high end to me. I'll have these bears linked down in the description box below. And if you want to add to the teddy bear gift, grab a pack of these heart shaped balloons from Dollar Tree. You could 12 in a pack and also pick up some of these balloon sticks and you can make a cute little setup with no helium required. I just used three of the balloons, but you can use as many as you would like. And the bear with the balloons looks so adorable. All right, guys, well, that's it for these Dollar Tree DIYs, decor ideas, and hacks for Valentine's Day. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I had so much fun making all of these projects. Let me know which one was your favorite down in the comments section below. I always love hearing from you. And as always, thank you so much for watching. And until my next one, I'll see you then.